I'm Larry Inglesado from Aviation Consumer Magazine here on location in Albuquerque, New Mexico. I'm at Honeywell Bendix King. We go fly the new KSN 770. It's a new GPS navigator that's been in development for nearly five years. But a partnership with Aspen Avionics has advanced the product to the point where Bendix King is waiting for final FAA approval any day. At that point, they can finally start shipping the product. Let's go fly it and check it out. So we're at 8,500 feet over in the New Mexico desert here in the Bendix King skyline. We're with Doug Hawley, the chief test pilot with Bendix King. Doug, how is the KSN 770 going to benefit uh, a combination of VFR and IFR pilots? I think it gives a tremendous amount of situational awareness to either category of pilot. Uh, the VFR operations, it gives you all the information you want. You can customize your displays to the way that you think. You can interface with it with a touch screen or joystick control or keyboard input. We provided all of those for you. Uh, you can enable or disable different displays to display the amount of information you want. You have fingertip zoom in and zoom out to customize your display. You can uh, have a single display or two displays or two thumbnails and a uh, half display. We have multiple options. The pilot can select how much information you want displayed at one time. Right now we have a single big screen dedicated to nav map. If I push the page button, I get two screens. And this one, I can now select with a knob, terrain, traffic, weather. So I can put, say, terrain over here. And then I can tap here, and I can actually push that. It's an alternative way of doing things. So I have two screens set up the way I want to, terrain and traffic. Or if I really want to get fancy, I can go to three screen view, push the page again, and now I have two thumbnails. Map map is here, terrain is here, traffic is there. I'm going to put in a frequency by using a keyboard, so I'm going to tap the standby frequency, and I know my next frequency is 1, 2, 0, 1, 5. That's now standby. We are now on the lake from Awash intersection to Santa Fe Airport. Uh, I'm going to show you a little bit way around the screen here. We're in the flight plan mode right now. I'm going to go to the MFD, and we'll take a look at the different types of pictures. I'm going to start with the far left. This is an independent nav map, independent of the FMS screen. I can uh, zoom in and out as my heart's content with a single push button of the zoom buttons. If I want to get information on something here, on say special use air, airspace, I can scroll around the dial. I see that the restricted area 5119 is 35,000 to unlimited. I'll zoom on out a little bit here up as I scroll from airspace to airspace it's highlighting 5107B surface to unlimited Smitty 1600 to basically 14,000 feet so I can get information by hitting the information button and going to uh, hit special use airspace or uh, air traffic control or airports if I want to I get information on airports if I want to get information on Albuquerque I highlighted it of course the detail and then here, there's information on Albuquerque over here, I can push the comm button. We can pick up the comms to Albuquerque. I could channel that automatically from by selecting from that page. I can get information on runways. And I can scroll to see other information. And I can also pull up current weather, both the AWOS and the terminal forecast. Boats are getting vectored for an ILS-22 to Double Eagle. I cleared out the old flight plan just for clarity, so I'm going to go direct to nearest airport. Double Eagle, Proc, Approach, select ILS-22, push button, select vector to final, push button, the approach is now in there. This uh, CDI button here will determine what output goes to the CDI that's on the pilot's uh, prim primary flight display. Right now, we are shooting in GPS 2-2 approach, so we want this to be in GPS mode. If I want to be in a localizer mode, I can tap that, and it would go to VLOC, and of course, then I would be uh, dealing with a different nav aid right now than GPS. I'm going to scroll all the way over to the charts page, and we'll see that we have own chip on this. I can toggle up or down with the joystick control. So we have joystick uh, control of that and uh, of pan and uh, own chip on this chart as well as on all the nav charts. We're approaching maneuvering to landing in Albuquerque. We have traffic selected for display and you can see that we have a displayed aircraft 600 feet below us that just departed the airport. I have that on this display, but I can also go to menu 
and see a dedicated display for traffic if I want to. One of the other uh, functions available on the MFD page is the terrain function. In this particular airplane that does not have an external TOS like the HP-560, uh, this is advisory terrain only, uh, but it gives you a very, very nice picture uh, of uh, terrain in the area. The taxi chart. Uh, the ch no matter what display that you had up, we have it set so that the chart will automatically display when you touch down. So you can see we have own chip on the chart, and we can still zoom in, zoom out, depending on what kind of picture we want to get. And you can read more about the Bendix King KSN 770 in the October 2013 issue of Aviation Consumer Magazine. Reporting for Aviation Consumer, I'm Larry Anglosano. Thanks for watching. And thanks to Doug Hawley for showing us the KSN 770.